Good morning everyone, my name is Patala Thanti Rajasri from Sola Sadhana School. Today I will talk about the relationship between football and market in Colombia. This topic is important because you will understand why mafia is involved with football. So today I'm going to tell you about the, how football related to mafia. Colombia mafia history, Paulo Escobar life, Paulo Escobar friends, unlucky footballer. Football and mafia should be separate. Mafia can help football. First, I'll talk about how football related to mafia. The reason why mafia is involved to football is money and favor. Money is the most thing that attracts mafia to football and favor. If mafia really like football, they will dedicate for it. There are many countries that are affected by mafia. Poland is one of them. Great example. Because there are 117 people that has been involved in the match fixing. In Romania, there is a meeting that's the staff of uh, one of football team and uh, another footballer from the another team are uh, giving uh, money about the bank fixing. But uh, when the official can catch it, they ask about the money, but they say to, it's about the candy and the chocolate. The way to grab the benefit from football, all mafia usually using. Uh, football to be in front to run the uh, money and other things that mafia did is uh, bad fixing. Uh, second, I will talk about the Colombian mafia history. Colombia has the many uh, mafia gangs. The Dark Baron is one of the biggest gang in Colombia. Uh, Colombia has a many small gangs around the streets. Uh, the illegal things that uh, they do for their benefit, uh, the main job is uh, that traffic scene. Uh, the, it is the main income for them. Uh, and include the uh, cigarette smoking and uh, human traffic scene is a uh, second job for them. Uh, Mafia is also a criminals. They are usually making crimes. They are using a, uh, they are usually make a violence, hurting and threatening people. Sometimes they kill people because their anger or their bodies or them them to kill. Uh, third is uh, I will talk about the Paulo Escobar life. This man name is Paulo Escobar. He is a Colombian citizen and he is a Colombian dark lord. Everyone know him as uh, the king of cocaine. He makes a lot of money by selling cocaine in the USA. Uh, he making uh, 60 million dollars per day and over 21.9 billion dollars per year. His personal income. He's the most Wanted man by the USS Intelligence Service. Uh, his relationship to football, um, he loved football very much. Uh, he also liked to watch football match with his friend at the stadium. Uh, he also made a football pitch for the poor children. Uh, the way to grab benefit from football, uh, he is using football to be in front to earn, earn the money and also fixing the match result. The fourth is Paulo Escobar friends. Um, Paulo Escobar also has a friend in the gangs. First one is Josh Luis Oshua Vasquez and second one is Jose Gonzalo Rodriguez Gracia. Uh, Josh Luis Oshua Vasquez he is the in the middle in uh, culture Black gangs, uh, and he also is a uh, Escobar, his best friends. The second, uh, second one is uh, Jose Gonzalo Rodriguez Garcia. His real uh, name is El Mexicano, and he also in the murder culture drug gangs. Uh, and next, I will talk about the uh, unlucky footballer. 
And yes, Escobar, the Colombian footballer, he's the unlucky footballer. That was innocent but was cute. He's the footballer in the Colombian national football team in the FIFA World Cup 1994. He was killed after the 1994 FIFA World Cup. He was killed when he is going to his car at the parking lot. The reason he died is he is scoring his own goals. That's made the Colombian team disqualified in the World Cup. That make uh, Mafia angry because they lost the money that the team be able to get if the team can be rich through the sitting round. There are also another people got hurt like him. The three also got killed if the Mafia don't certify the, the result of the game that caused by the referees. Some video or some sub code can got hurt from the Mafia. Uh, the last but not the least, I'm talking about uh, football and mafia should be separate. Uh, there are so many best things that mafia do to football. They are uh, using uh, football to be fun to run their money, as they, they do normally. Uh, they are fixing the mess for their own purpose. The main reason of uh, that mafia want to be uh, involved in football is money. Uh, they don't care if it will be good or bad through football. They usually like to use uh, violence and killing people. And finally, I will talk about uh, Mafia can help football. We usually know that Mafia is bad, but Mafia also have a good side too. Uh, they can help football. Colo uh, Escobar is a great example. He loved football, so as he bought a team for himself, he also made a football pitch for the poor student that have no chance to pay. In summary, I discussed about the how is football related to Mafia, Colombia, Mafia history, Paulo Escobar life, Paulo Escobar fan, a little footballer, football and Mafia should be separate, and the last thing Mafia can help football. Uh, I believe that the relationship between football and mafia should be separate from each other. However, mafia still have a positive side, but almost thing that mafia did is also negative things. They use violence and cheating. I think they must be kept out from the football. Thank you for listening.